You know, I'm just as tired as you guys are of hearing and reading all these crazy anti-gun rules that the ATF and the Biden administration keep pushing out. Because none of these rules would solve any of the problems that they're talking about. The real goal is to restrict your constitutional rights by any means necessary. So that's why you can and should use your First Amendment right to protect the second. Today, I'm going to talk about how GOA and GOA members have not only had an impact on these final rules, but have outright defeated them as well. I am Ben, and you're watching the Minuteman Moment. Before we get into the video, be sure to like and comment below so we can kick YouTube right in the algorithm. For those of you who don't know, the executive branch of the federal government and its agencies like ATF are required by law to give notice of proposed rulemaking and allow us, the people, to voice our concerns or support for these rules. This all happens on the Federal Register's website, where every day dozens of bureaucratic rules are uploaded. Now, we mainly focus on the ATF ones, but in the past, we've also had to deal with Fish and Wildlife Service's lead ammo ban and other federal agencies. This rulemaking process has been going on for some time, so to keep it brief, I'm going to just talk about our most recent wins. One of our largest wins was when Gun Owners of America members stopped the Obama administration from banning green tip ammunition in 2015. 80,000 people, about the seating capacity of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, commented during the three-month period. Most of them opposed this rule with such vigor that we were able to get the ATF and the Obama administration to back off and formally delay this rule. Now let's just swamp talk for we got our teeth kicked in and we've got to shelve it. So there's another major gun rule in the graveyard thanks to GOA members just like yourself. Gun Owners of America comments also helped defeat the first implementation of the pistol brace rule. This was under the Trump administration. It also helped that our team of federal lobbyists were working behind the scenes to have it withdrawn. But that's why we work using all three branches of government. But you can bet it wasn't the good nature of Republicans in Washington that withdrew this rule. It was their reaction to your outrage and comments. Once again, Gun Owners of America and our supporters went to bat and fought off this insane rule. Unfortunately, the Biden administration, nudged along by the billionaire-funded anti-gun lobbies who gave their war chest to his campaign, brought pistol braces back to the forefront, and the ATF was more than happy to comply with their new administrative leaders. Speaking of Biden's ATF rules, there's also the frame and receiver rule. Now, we took a look at this rule and realized that the entire thing was flawed. We then helped to create a model comment to help our members tackle the biggest issues in that rule. And these comments worked. Because of the combined efforts of our team and you, our members, we were able to stop the ATF from publishing major parts of the rule. The first major victory we got was ending the serialization of every single piece of the firearm. We broke down part of the rule in a past Minuteman moment where Phil found that a Glock 40 would have up to 16 regulated parts. This ridiculous requirement was pulled back to only a singular frame or receiver. So huge win not having to get a background check for every mag release or recoil spring. This also applied to suppressors, so no more having to get every individual baffle serialized now. Now for those of you who still aren't convinced, let me walk you through how commenting can help us after the rule is published. Well first off, having these comments serves as evidence for our lawyers to fight back in courts. Our lawyers will use the model comments and the thousands of people who post them under the rule as evidence that not only are these arguments valid, but a common problem that our membership has. Why do we need all these people saying the same thing under the rule? Because judges don't always see eye to eye with us on the Second Amendment being your natural right. Instead, we have to prove that these terrible laws and regulations actually do harm your rights in such a way that the only solution is to end them completely. In the same way that it helps our lawyers to have their arguments backed up by thousands of people, it also helps our lobbyists fight back on Capitol Hill. The grassroots support that we have from you, our members, allows us to tell congressmen and senators exactly how the public and their constituents feel. In the past, we've even seen these patriots file their own comments, standing side by side with us as we take down the ATF. But for those people who need a little more convincing, having thousands of people commenting and calling into their office can be the kick in the butt that they need to push for a Congressional Review Act of the rule, just like we did with H.J. Res 44 this summer. Now I urge you to go to the link below and comment in a respectful manner of how this rule is implementing universal background checks and helping ATF build their illegal gun registry. This rule will do nothing to stop crime. It's safe to say this violates the Second Amendment as well. But the people reading these comments want something specific that they can go after. And it really helps our lawyers to have specific issues to point to. It's important to stress that you should use your unique perspective and let the ATF know how the rule affects you, especially if you have a unique circumstance in your life that this rule would adversely affect. An example of this could be, your grandpa left you a dozen old milsurps, but you can only hold on to a few. Or, your big high point collector that leaves them in minty fresh condition. These and many more are just examples of how this rule would restrict your rights to keep and bear arms. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of GOA's latest fights for your rights.